Okay, so a pretty amazing thing just happened and no one is talking about it. And there's a very good reason why no one is talking about it. And I'll tell you exactly what that is in just a second. Hello, my friends. You are watching The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Welcome to the channel. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. Welcome to all your new subscribers. Great to have you here on the channel. Welcome back to everyone else. Great to see you back too. 2022, it's going to be a sensational year absolutely it's going to be a very fun and exciting year to see what goes on in the electric car world you know i used to actually read gas magazines magazines about gas cars they're full of gas now but you know i used to read them all the time every day i was addicted to reading about new cars new technology in cars new engines right you know and then you know what i just realized nothing was going on it was all just boring the hell out of me and i realized that all the new exciting things were happening in the electric car sphere. So to be honest, part of the reason I did this channel is I'm simply excited to see all this new technology coming out with electric cars, batteries. Not only is it improving the world, but it's improving massively the products that we can purchase, which is kind of cool. Now, two Tesla e electric vehicles have broken into the top 20 best-selling vehicles of 2021, period. The estimated sales numbers indicated that the Tesla Model Y was number 17. I mean, obviously, these numbers are going to be totally different in 2022. They're going to jump up, I think, into the top 10 in the United States, possibly top 10 worldwide. It's going to be really interesting to see, though. Remember, why do I say top 10 worldwide for a Tesla Model Y? Probably the Tesla Model Y. Well, one very good reason. Tesla only makes really, I mean, they make two models of car. Let's be honest, the Model 3 and the Model Y. The Model X, Model S, they're just low, 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 low numbers. Tesla has no plans to make a lot of those cars. I mean, if you want to go and far, you can say maybe four models, but I mean, look at the other manufacturers. They're making like 50 plus models of car, which to be honest, in my view, is not a smart move. I think the smart move is to try and have less models and mass manufacture them, you can significantly decrease costs by doing that. Now, why do we not actually officially know this information? We don't actually know the official numbers for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y sales in the United States. Well, I actually made a video about why that is. I don't know why, but I have never seen anyone else talk about this. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. It explains why Tesla doesn't report sales of their vehicles in the US, in Australia, in a few different countries. It all comes down to one crucial aspect, that is money. So check out that video if you haven't already. It's definitely worth seeing because it kind of opened my eyes to what's actually going on. And it makes a lot of sense why Tesla is not reporting those sales numbers. So the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y appeared in the top 20 best-selling vehicles in the US in 2021. The top 20 list released by Reuters earlier this month didn't include Tesla because the manufacturer releases only global sales numbers, which they sold 936,172 EVs in 2021. Now, I should say delivered, didn't sell. I'm sure they sold more cars than that, but they delivered that many cars. Now, that included 911,208 of the Model 3 and the Model Y and 24,964 of the Model S and the Model X. Now, according to registration data, we know the Model 3 and the Model Y sold way more than 100,000 vehicles each in the United States. Now, according to Troy Tesla's estimates, Tesla sold 186,600 Tesla Model Ys in the US in 2021 and 150,654 Tesla Model 3 vehicles in 2021. So Tesla's total in the US, including Model S and Model X, was 360,916. And I think that number will probably double. Yep, I know it sounds crazy, but I think that number will double in 2022. For one reason, Austin, Texas, Gigafactory opening. Another reason, Tesla won't be needing to send many cars, probably just Model S and Model X, outside of America. They'll be able to keep those cars in America for Americans to purchase. Now, if you're not already aware, Tesla has an enormous backlog of vehicle sales in terms of people. The waiting lists are absolutely astronomical. And that's why Tesla just keeps on raising their prices because more people keep on adding themselves to these wait lists. And if you look at the actual wait list, I'll put a link. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about the wait list times. You can actually see the actual times in that video. 
It's crazy. So here is what the list would be with Tesla vehicles included. The Ford F-Series pickup truck sold 726,000. I've always found it weird that Ford actually calls that one model because I mean, you've got the F-150, the F-250, the F-350. Those are all different. They're all quite, a, I mean, the F-250 is way bigger than the F-150. F F-350, I mean, it's astronomical in comparison to the F-150. I'm not really sure that's the same model of car. But anyway, that's what Ford does. Number one, 726,000 sales. Number two, Ram pickups, 570,000. Same goes there. I mean, that's a whole bunch of different models there. Number three, Chevy Silverado, same thing there, 530,000. Number four, Toyota RAV4 with 407,000. You could say the Toyota RAV4 won. I mean, you know, you guys know I don't really like Toyota very much for all their anti-EV nonsense and their paying money to promote the idea that EVs are bad and all this stuff. I don't like Toyota, but let's be honest, number four, Toyota RAV4, maybe their first because, I mean, that's really just one shape of car, isn't it? Number five is a Honda CRV. Number six, the Toyota Camry, 313 sales. And let's just fast forward. Now we've got number 17, the Tesla Model Y with 186,000 sales. So you can see if Tesla doubles their sales from 186,000, 575. So if we're looking at they double sales to say 330,000 next year, which I think they might even do more than that, but 330,000 would put them in sixth place in the US this year. Pretty good chance they're going to jump to sixth place. I think they could even jump up to fourth place and displace the Toyota RAV4. Now, if they displace the Toyota RAV4, you've got to admit the Tesla Model Y comes in one body shape, one type of vehicle. Whereas those three, those one, two, and three Ford, Ram, and Chevy, that's a plethora of different plethora of different models. So it's actually technically possible that the Tesla Model S could become the number one selling vehicle in the US in 2022. If you want to base it on just singular models, which I think is the fair way to do it. I mean, let me know if you agree in the comment section below with the way I'm sort of looking at this. So technically though, Tesla Model Y was the number 17 best selling vehicle in the US in 2021. And the Tesla Model 3 was the number 19 best selling vehicle in the US in 2021. Now I think, like I said, Model Y will jump up to fifth place, potentially fourth. Tesla Model 3 will probably jump up to around about 10th to 11th place. Now, what about as the brand? Well, the Tesla brand was recently classified as second in the premium and luxury segment, very close behind BMW. Now, BMW sold 336,000 vehicles in the US in 2021. Tesla sold 313,000, Lexus 304,000, Mercedes-Benz 276,000, and Audi 196,000. So you can see there, Tesla only needs to sell another 20,000, 25,000 vehicles this year in the US to eclipse BMW. And that is a guarantee that that will happen. It's just the certainty. It's gonna be interesting to see how BMW, Lexus, and Mercedes-Benz react this this onslaught from Tesla. I think Tesla's gonna take a lot of their market share in the United States this year. Now, the other interesting thing to look at here is Cybertruck because as you can see the most popular vehicles in the US are pickup trucks very clearly right first second and third place right I know that's across a range of different models but still fairly rightly so pickup trucks now no company in the history of the automobile has ever had 1.3 million pre-orders for any type of vehicle and yet Tesla has 1.3 million pre-orders for the Cybertruck now, the key challenge here for Tesla won't be getting sales. It will be actually building enough Cybertrucks. But realistically, I think it is feasibly possible Tesla could take number one for the Cybertruck in maybe 2025 or 2026. But you know what? Who knows? This is really up in the air here. I think the demand is there. The question is, though, can Tesla make enough batteries for these big trucks and build enough of them? I mean, that's going to be the big challenge with his new manufacturing techniques, with the exoskeleton. Very interesting, very cool way to build a truck, but revolutionary and new. And it's really hasn't been done before in terms of mass manufacturing. It's gonna be fascinating to see how they go building those. And as many of you probably know, I have a pre-order in for one of them. I put it in on the first day, I think within a few hours of seeing it. I actually love the look. I know a lot of people hate it, but I love it. Tell me what you think. Do you think it looks terrible? Do you think it looks great? I'd be interested to know your opinion. Now, fingers crossed that Tesla actually 
can get a tax credit in the same way that all its competitors have them right now, except for General Motors. Everyone else is still getting using tax credits, getting seven thousand US dollars basically removed from the cost of their vehicle. Hopefully that changes over the next 12 months and Tesla can get the tax credit again. So can General Motors again, that would be good. So hopefully the Build Back Better plan is passed. Maybe not the little union part, but the rest of it, hopefully that's passed. And that would be awesome news for electric car buyers, being able to get the being able to get a Model Y or a Model 3 at a much lower price. And this is going to drive a lot more demand for electric cars in the US. It's going to mean that, I mean, Tesla's waiting list will probably get even longer. Same thing will happen for companies like General Motors and Ford and Rivian and Lucid. Their waiting list will get even longer. They'll commit more money to manufacturing. And that, my friends, is a very virtuous cycle and one I'm very excited to see. Thanks for watching the channel subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate your support. It's been a fantastic 2021. Hey, it's 2022. What the heck? It's the 22nd of January, 2022. I mean, this is, it's going crazy fast this year. Have an awesome year, an awesome day. See you again on the next video. Bye-bye.